Hello, I'm Vincent Grumley. I'm the founder and CTO of Redbelly Network. And this is a super exciting news today uh, because we have been working for six years in order to do this announcement. What I'm going to talk about today is a technology that uh, was developed in partnership with CSIRO and University of Sydney. So CAT is the combination of compliant asset tokenization. And uh, what is very important, I think, is the compliance combined with the asset tokenization, right? So if you think about uh, asset tokenization, you can already do that with Web3 technology, right? You just take uh, a real world asset, for example, and then you tokenize it, which means you create a token that sits on a blockchain that would be operated by your distributed environment. The problem with that is this Web3 platform has been operated by traditional blockchains that are not fit for purpose anymore, uh, in the sense that they do not offer this identity layer that is needed by regulation. So CAT is really this idea of bridging the gap between the Web3, the centralized finance uh, operated by traditional blockchain technologies and uh, traditional finance that need some kind of regulatory control. And this served as an important motivation for us to come up with an alternative. And this alternative was to make sure that the blockchain will be fork free or fork proof, if you want, in the sense that there is no way some users can pretend that they are using the same coin in different blocks at the same time, right? So you don't have a fork in the sense that the blockchain doesn't fork into a direct acyclic graph with multiple branches. And instead, we maintain this blockchain with a single chain, which means that at any given time, the state that is recorded in the last block is consistent record of all the balances of the transactions that have happened in the system before. This efficiency comes from the underlying technology that facilitate this uh, compliant asset tokenization value proposition. The underlying technology is a collaborative distributed system of machines by opposition to traditional blockchains that would be competitive distributed set of machines that would compete in order to try to impose their blocks to the rest of the system. In uh, the Red Belly network, what we have with this technology instead is uh, the collaboration of multiple distributed entities that will all propose a set of transactions that will be combined in a larger set of transactions that will be committed at the same point in time. And because we don't have these forks we were talking about uh, earlier, then what it means is that as soon as this large set of transactions is committed, it will not change and we can ensure that we have quasi-instant finality. This brings efficiency in the sense that if you submit a transaction, Right after, you can see it in the blockchain and you know it is committed already. And um, because it's so fast, this uh, automation and this quasi-instant finality leads to less risks and less costs. The DBFT stands for Democratic Byzantine for Tolerance, uh, and this is a consensus algorithm. This is actually, as far as I know, the first blockchain consensus that has been formally verified. It means that um, there is a mathematical representation of the algorithm itself that has been done by um, uh, colleagues of mine and myself uh, who are expert in formal verification. We also came up with a formal specification of the problem we're trying to solve, which is called the consensus problem. And then we fed this mathematical representation to a model checker or a parametrized model checker that uh, took these uh, specifications as an input and output the fact that uh, the, the algorithm was solving the problem in any possible executions for any system sizes. That's a very interesting result because it's drastically reduced the, the risk of human error in the design of the algorithm itself. So this is DBFT. This is what is used essentially to combine the set of transactions into a, this larger set of transactions that we often call the super block. But to go back to the uh, EVM uh, compatibility, what we offer on top of this uh, consensus algorithm that we call DBFT is a scalable Ethereum virtual machine layer, right? It's different from the traditional Ethereum virtual machine. Why? Because of course we had to tune it in a way such that the performance would be there, that if we multiply the number of nodes, the performance will increase with the number of resources that we provide in the system, also to match you know, the capability of our consensus algorithm. But any smart contract that is written in Solidity that can work on any EVM compatible blockchain can be straightforwardly ported across to our platform because the interface is exactly the same. The radical difference that you have with Redbelly Network is bridging the gap 
between this blockchain Web3 decentralized finance and this traditional finance, right? And the only way you can do that is by making sure that you comply with the regulations, right? So Redbelly Network brings this novelty of identifying all the users before they can use this Web3 technology, which is the enabler of asset tokenization, right? So it's really this combination of asset tokenization with compliance, with the regulation that makes Redbelly Network unique. So we use zero knowledge proof in order to identify the users of our network, but without storing any of their personal identifiable information. This technique allows us to respect the privacy of the users, but also to authenticate them, which means that we can hold malicious participants accountable for their actions if they misbehave in our network. In the first quarter of 2024, we will be releasing the main net, the main network, which means that the Redbelly network will be in production. As of today, we can already test any application. So if you have a Web3 application or a tokenized asset you want to try, you can deploy it on the development network that we currently have. You just have to go and read our, how to do on our website. And this release, the first quarter of 2024, will be the result of um, six years of hard work developing the technology and making sure that it supports this uh, compliant asset tokenization. We believe that we have the right solution to bridge the gap between the decentralized finance Web3 market and the traditional finance market. And we believe that our solution, because of the accountability and other properties that I've mentioned, can offer this compliant asset tokenization to users who can trust our platform.